Hello guys, welcome to Refer UX. Myself Nimesh. Today we will talk about mono alphabetic substitution cipher. Mono alphabetic substitution cipher is also known as a simple substitution cipher which relies on a fixed replacement structure. That means the substitution is fixed for each letter of the alphabet. Hence, if letter A is encrypted to letter R, then every time we see the letter A in the plain text, we replace it with the letter R in the cipher text. In this video guide, we use this cipher text which is being derived from an English plain text using a mono alphabetic substitution cipher. And please note that it is not case sensitive in this example and the commas and full stops are not encrypted or which is they are unencrypted and blanks are not deleted. Now this is the cipher text that we are going to use today to decrypt and some hints to do that is the first one we need to count letters and look for the frequency which is very important to find out the most frequent letters could be then we can try for short words like one letter words two letter words three letters and four letters which are very common in English language and also we can look for structures for example words that appear very often to get some idea on what could possibly be the decryption so let's begin first of all let's use this online frequency analyzer to get the letter frequency distribution of this ciphertext so we'll get this uh, first we'll uh, get this in copy and I'll go to this frequency analyzer then I'll paste it and I will record the input then I'll see the bar chart and then export the counts here you can see for both D and T is having highest frequency the link for this frequency analyzer is available in the description. As I mentioned, as per this frequency analysis, we can see that both D and T having the same highest frequency. Hence, either D or T could be E because E is the most frequent letter in English language. Then, in this ciphertext, we can observe that XDAT and XTT words and they, these both words start with the same letter and ending with another same letter as well. In fact, XTT is ending with same letter doubling at the end. In English language, there are few commonly used three letter words ending with same letter doubling at the end. For example, all, A double L, two, T double O, and is C S double E but T can't be either L or O because in English language it's rare that a four letter word ending with letter L O O hence T could could be E at a very high probability hence let's replace 
T with E. To do that, I take find and replace option in Microsoft PowerPoint and I click on the match K option because I will replace the decrypted letters in capitals. In this case, simple T is being replaced by capital E. Let's give a shot. That all T's has, have been changed to E. Now, we get a three-letter word X double E. In English language, the common three-letter word ending with two E's could be C. Hence, X could be S. Now, let's replace X with S to give a shot. And I replace simple X with capital S. And I replace that. And we can now see a complete word C. And also, we have another four letter word starting with S and ending with E. S D A E. In English language, the most common four letter word that follows this pattern is some. Hence, D could possibly be capital O, O, O. And A could possibly be M. Now let's replace them and give a shot. I'll replace simple D with capital O. O, maybe o. I'll replace simple A with M. Now we have a complete word sum and also C. Then we have another two letter word that is Z O. It is ending with capital O, it is ending with O, and that could possibly be two because this follows the verb or other stem C. Hence, this could be a two infinitive pattern. Hence, T, this could be possibly O, uh, two, and Z could possibly be T. Now, let's change that as well and see what happens. So I replace Z with T and I come back. Then we have a three letter word that starts with T and ending with E. And in English language, that would possibly be the because that is one of the very frequently used three letter word in English language. Hence, K could possibly be H. Now, let me change that as well. Right. Now we have a four letter word starting with T and ending with ME. And the common word for in that in English language is time. Most, most probably it could be time. Hence, this dollar mark is possibly B, I. Now, let me give a try. I'll replace dollar sign I. And I read. Now, so far, I can see some completed words and also some ideas of some words. Then, we have a four letter word ending with. I T H. Now, the most common four letter word follows this pattern in English language could be with. Hence, U could be W. Now, let me change that as well. Now, change with W and we cool. Now, we have a three letter word starting with starting with W and ending with S. Now, in English language, this could possibly be was. Hence, G could possibly be A. Now, let me check with G with A. It means was. 
and early this single letter word also was there g and that is also another good hint because in english language the single letter word that we use is a then we have a nine letter word a nine letter word which is this one we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and by looking at that we can read this as somewhere it's obvious and this curly bracket could be or definitely be r because it should be somewhere hence let me change that as well r okay then we have a six letter word and by looking at by looking at this also we can read it as switch it is obvious hence this ampersand or and mark could possibly be c now let me change that as well and mark is going to be capital c so far we have we can see some completed full let full words some partially completed as well then we have uh, another very commonly used six letter word which is ending with es and and it is also at the beginning of a sentence and that could possibly be please hence b could possibly be p and i could possibly be l now let me change those two as well i l now again we have a, another eight letter word which is obviously by looking at anyone can guess this could be possible hence the letter o could, could possibly be b let me change that as well after that we have another two letter word which is ending with uh, t with ending with o and in this language which is ending with o having two letters and commonly used words are either to or do now to is already been taken and this could possibly be do hence b could be q could be d let me change that you can see that it was possible to do it which is having a meaning as well now we have another three letter word which is ending with ot and followed by please do or sort and that could possibly be not so s could possibly be n and let me change that as well now we have another six letter word at the very beginning and by looking at that also some anyone can guess it as human and the letter y could definitely be u the high chance and also we have here a two letter word which is starting with i and in english language the commonly used two letter words starting with i is either in or it or if since it and uh, in is already been taken we this could possibly be if so we can think that take could possibly be if f that i'll read and 
Also, we have here a three-letter word ending with OU. In English language, the most commonly used three-letter words ending with OU is U. Hence, why OU? Hence, this it could possibly be Y. Now, let me change that. Now, we have a eight-letter word here at the very beginning, which is by looking, says that anything and should be anything, and the letter M, hence, could possibly be G. Now, let me change M with capital G. And uh, finally, we need to solve for the letter V. Now, let me take... H A V E. Now, by looking that, looking at that, we can easily guess that this could be have, and the letter V could definitely be V itself. So let me change that as well. Blah. Great. We have solved the puzzle. We have decrypted the ciphertext completely, and it says. Some humans would do anything to see if it was possible to do it. If you put a large switch in, a, in some cave somewhere with a sign on it saying end of the world switch, please do not touch. The paint would not even have a time to dry. Not worth saying. Now, Based on this analysis, the key for solving this monoalphabetic substitution is as follows. Here we can see uh, with the given ciphertext, these are the solution or key, so keys that we could find uh, compared to original alphabet and the uh, crypto alphabet. The crypto alphabet is being used instead of these original alphabet letters and this is the key that we can derive from the given monoalphabetic substitution as a key as i explained early the decryption or the plain text out of the given cipher text is a quote from the book from Terry Pratchett's uh, book of the truth. You can easily google this red color description in the google and you can find out it. And the key that we have derived here is as follows. And in this video guide I showed you how to decrypt a monoalphabetic uh, substitution using frequency analysis and pattern and techniques in English alphabet. I hope you have learned something new out of it. We really appreciate your likes and feedbacks and shares of these videos. And if you want to know future such videos quickly, please do subscribe to us. Until we meet again, have a great time.